You join me outside the walls of Troy. I'm here with the challenger. You seem pretty relaxed, Menelaus. Um, are you confident about today? Oh, it's going to rain supreme, isn't it? How can you be so confident? Because I ain't doing the fighting. I tagged my man Achilles here. He's immortal. Wicked, isn't he? Yeah, whatever, I'll have that one. Menelaus of Sparta is chosen. Sweet as a nut, mate. Yes. Yo, my name's Elaga Barlas, and I'm the Emperor of Rome, even though I'm only a teenager, which is well wicked. Don't you think there could be an upset at all? You ain't listening to me, you flannel. My man Achilles was made immortal when his mum dunked him in the River of the Dead. He cannot be killed! We're gonna rip it up. Uh, to make myself more popular with the people of Rome, I've invented my own lottery. Romo Lottery Millions. Play my game and you could be well minted, like I am, but not as much as Helen. You was well fit. Your face could launch a thousand ships, yeah? What, what is that supposed to mean? I think I've married an idiot. You just told the man from the telly about your weak spot. Nice one. Well, tonight I thought I'd just do something really easy. It's easy because I'm not making it. My slaves are. <laughs> and here is your prize. The incredible crown of celery. What? Celery? The prize is celery? Yes, didn't you know? No. I thought it was salary. A yearly wage, cash, dosh, wonga. Listen up, yeah? I want all us Greek soldiers to march on Troy, you get me? We're gonna tear that city up! Kill them all, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tread in those. Those are the guts of some people I had sacrificed earlier. Ugh. Yeah, they're to tell the future. And the guts say... My pudding is going to be so scrummy you won't literally believe it. Well, Henry, you seem to have a little problem. Anything you'd like to divulge? Yes, I'll tell you my story, but I'm going to have to be quick. Yes, please. I was visiting my grandchildren in Normandy, and I had a lovely meal of my favourite dish, lamprey. Lamprey? Yes, it's a kind of eel. Well, nice. I gave you both bits of wax and stone that are made to look like food, while I get the real food, which is actually really nice. Mmm. How mad am I? How mad am I? <laughs> Eat it. Lost for words? Then why not say it with flowers? With the new Victorian floral messaging system, you can literally say it with flowers. Because each flower means a different thing, yeah? I go berserk and my eyes go glazy. I get so mad I could stab a daisy. But I won't, because that would be stupid. Wait up! I've won something as well! Ah, it's a dead dog! <laughs> oh, my practical jokes are well grimy. A dead dog, that's so mingy! And according to their report, these monks are rolling in it. <laughs> you don't think it might look a bit dodgy nicking all this stuff off these men of God? So I've leant over to have a look at what's going on there. Yes. Twang. Went in me head. <laughs> the most embarrassing Tudor Archery Death Award goes to Henry the Plonker. <laughs> You're through to the afterlife. Nice one, mate. Oh, it's bees! It's bees! Oh. <laughs> oh, a box full of bees. He's well stung, man. Right then, let's have a rummage. Oh. Your nastiness was fabulous, but my name's Alagabarnas. So, you've nicked all their gold, mm. smashed up their houses, mm. and sold everything off to the highest bidder. Mm. But, have you raised enough cash for that war in France? Please. Yes, yes you have. Yeah! Right, listen up. This is a flummet job. We'll need a rook, some Davies dust, and a faggot. Luckily, I know a Nemo will crack a crib for a spangle. Any questions? Half time orange, anyone? Georgian Navy! And if I go looking for India, India is what I fight. Good day. Door? It's there. I know that. It's my cabin. England! Sort of. England! Well, no, it's not. We're gonna sink one more than you. 